Hi. Having the ability to customize and create your own materials and, and war types is incredibly important and Plusbeck allows you to do this. In Plusbeck you can create your own materials and structural framing and any new materials or framing that you create will be saved in your personal library and available for you to select at the click of a button. In a couple of hours you could quite literally create hundreds of materials. Let me show you. In this first option, I want to create a timber stud wall with a corrugated iron external cladding and a 10mm gyprock internal cladding. So you would uh, select the most suitable construction typology and in this instance it is the external cladding with plasterboard. Now I don't need to create a new material for the gyprock as it's already in my list. However, I do not have a corrugated iron in my external cladding. So let's create one. Choose a file, select it. Now you need to give the texture width and height its scale. In this instance, I'm just going to guesstimate, but make sure that you are accurate. This is generic. And I'm going to give it a thickness of 10 millimeters. Select that you agree and then now create material. If you're in the Mac, you'll need to go back into Plusbeck and sync, and then you'll be able to select it from your drop down menu. If you're using a PC like me, you can just drag and drop. Wait for it to load. And now I have my corrugated iron, and I can select this at any time in the future. Now just draw. Let me show you another option. I'm going to do a slab this time. Now in the slab we do have a couple of options for your surface material, standard concrete or a polished concrete. However, if you wanted to attribute a carpet or a, a tile or a, a timber or another polished concrete, you can. So I'm going to do a polished concrete. Give it, I'm just guesstimating make sure that you are accurate. And again, because I'm using the PC, I can drag and drop. Wait for it to load. And now you can draw. There's your polished concrete. In this last option, I want to create a round earth wall. And at the time that I'm releasing this tutorial, you will note that there, in the construction type, there is no concrete option. Uh, this will soon be released, and it's the most likely one that I would use for a round earth. However, I can still use, uh, for example, a single brick as it's a solid masonry construction. Let's create our round earth. Now, in Australia, rammed earth is typically 300. Now drag and drop if you're in a PC. And then draw. Managing your material library is very easy. All you need to do is go into any material and select manage. This will show you all of your unique materials or customized materials that you have created. If for example you want to delete them, all you need to do is select remove. Now, when you go back into Plusvec, select the Sync button. You should definitely get in the habit of using Sync, as if you've made any changes, it's going to update it. Uh, if you have facing any issues or bugs, 
click the sync, maybe it will fix it. And you can see now that I've synced that none of those materials will be in there anymore. So if I go back into the single brick, I cannot select my rammed earth. Simple.